Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Snap-on Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars or drive them old trucks. Let them... So today we're revisiting the fucking uh, break video. Um, I already got the other side done with the help of a viewer. His name is George. He lives real close to me, and he contacted me and said that he wanted to come and help me. So I was like, fucking awesome. Maybe we can make this a series if you guys like it, where if you guys live close to Ohio, you can come and fucking help me work on junk. Uh, that sounds fun. Plus, you get to meet me, and I'm a fucking legend. So anyway, uh, we got the other side done. Uh, we will fucking uh, get the wheels off. You don't need to see all this bullshit. And then when we start taking this stuff apart, hopefully we don't run into the fucked up issue we had on the other side axle, which we should have videotaped that one, but we'll see what we got going on here. But other than that, it's gonna be the same way, and we'll see if the junkie got any better with the help of George. I can already tell you, we're looking a lot better now. So, all right, well, we'll get this shit apart, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll start showing you some of the detail stuff. and. George showed me some tips and tricks for brakes, so we'll share that with you too. Alright guys, so the first thing you gotta do, sorry I fucking ran into the camera, uh, is we're gonna loosen, gonna loosen the slack adjustments here. Alright George, that one's good. George is gonna beat the fucking drum with the hammer, and that should come right off. Alright, now George, we got one more to do on the back. And this side is pretty fucked up. Sorry. Alright. Alright, George, that should come right off. Alright. Alright, George is beating that one off. And then uh, the junkie will springs off. One. And George, this axle seal looks like it's leaking too. Is it? Yeah. Kind of step on it. Step on it, man. I'll do this. I can beat it. A little bit different, George, but you know, you got it. What the fuck? Swing. All right, now that we got the brakes off, uh, we're going to take the hubs off because. Uh, A guy told me a technique here that you can just unbolt these four bolts and pull this off, but while we're here, we're just going to change axle seals because hopefully this is not wedged on there like the other one, but, uh, and we don't need the wandy dandy fucking tool this time. Look at that. Sun X tools. See, people I do buy not snap on stuff. I gotta get me going the right way. Yeah. People say this PT 850's got no balls. It's taking off some cross threaded fucking nuts, all right. It'll be all right. All right. So we're going to get ready and knock this out. All right, George, wheel her out of there. Simple. 
They definitely come out a lot easier without the, uh, with what, what do you call it, Jordan? Without the cones? Yes. Yes. And for everybody out there that said get cone pliers, we cannot get cone pliers because I don't have the ones with the slits in it. That's right. George was like, oh, that's why that didn't work. And cone pliers are becoming obsolete. Yeah, they don't use them, he said. So anyway, we're going to repeat the process on the back one. Uh, I'll get the axle out. We'll bust this hub off and uh, go from there. Um, I have the older style clips. George said there's some new ones that I have not seen, George. Right? Yes. And so you just bend these fucking tabs back and then pray to God that the, uh, the axle seal is not locked on there. George, the big ring. So we can bust this off. Oh, she's tighter than fuck. Yeah. Somebody uh, that did this before us fucked this all up. Way too tight. Way too tight. So, as you can see here, we'll get the... Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that's the way the other side was. Yeah, that's like, what the hell? Ugh. All right, that's... That's way too tight. So you can see that whoever did this before was a fucking monkey. You know, it, it could be a it could be a troll. A troll probably did this. A <laughs> keyboard warrior, right? Instead of a dude that's out here in the streets. Well, that, was, that one was too tight on the other side too. Yeah. So we already kind of know what kind of mess we're gonna get into here, George, don't we? Yes, sir. That that inner nut was way too tight on the other side. Let's see what you, oh, no, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. So, take this off. So again, it's just a three piece, or it's a four piece nut, really. So you have an inner nut, a lock washer with holes in it. And I'll show it to you when we get ready to put it back together once we get all this shit cleaned up. All right, George, where's those other ones? So if we pull this off, we don't make uh, a complete mess like we did last time. One of those big mats. Yep. All right, now we're gonna see if we can get this off. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah. You're good. You can take it straight out and pick map behind you. All right. Oh, look at this. We got lucky as fuck. Yep. The other side fought us like crazy. All right. All right. So as you can see, this uh, is pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is uh, clean this up a little bit and uh, George will take out the S cams and stuff like that and I'll work on cleaning this up. Jimmy, you're gonna get some shit because everybody says change the seal if you pull the seal, but I pulled these things off hundreds of times, just change the brakes and pop them back on to get them on the road. You know, I never had that problem. Yeah, I, I did it before too, it never really had a problem. Yeah. Good visual exam is what the key is on it. All right, so George will get underneath there now and I'm gonna turn into the film man because we don't really need to do anything else with this. Uh, I'll probably get ready after he gets this apart and I'll start taking the back one apart. But I can already tell you we're gonna have this job done pretty quick because it's not foobar like the other one. So this is what we kind of didn't. Sh this is what I didn't show you last time. Uh, you know how you take off your your slack adjusters and your S cams and all that stuff, and the bushings. You got to. It's got these stupid Calder pins, which George made easy work of those. Uh, it's actually pretty cool to have somebody that's a viewer uh, come in and ask to help me and stuff like that. And he brought me a new tool. You know that I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, he said that he would like to shoot videos, but just where he works, we'll not let him do that. Nope. So, he's in probably the same position. Oh, man, you already got the thing moving? No, I've got the, my big pen was stuck. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, the only, we're just going to reuse the small ones. I got plenty of big ones. Okay, I need your snap rings. You want the little ones or the big ones? Uh, big ones on, on these original ones, on the replacement with the small ones. Fuck. Jesus Christ, this slack adjuster's got half an inch of play this way. 
Oh, I know. That's what I'm telling you. It's fucking. They're fucking joke. Oh, Where do you see the back one? They got hit by the paver. It's fucking foobar, dude. Man. That's why I knew that this had to be done, George. This is, that's that's a lot of slot play. Yeah, when you hit the brakes, it, it's got to move fucking three quarters <laughs> of an inch before it even hits the pads. To be honest with you, <laughs> it's like wow. You know, yeah. that's what dump trucks are. You just run them till they're broke, and then you fix it. That's that's about all you have time to do, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know? Because if you nitpicked every little thing on these things, it would, it would never make you any money. Some things you got to live with. Can I have your, uh, one of your lights? Your frame light right here. All right. Yeah, George likes to snap on lights, man. Oh Look at God, that. Yes. Love them lights. Those are the best little lights. I don't even use the bar that it came with anymore. I just take them off because they're magnetic. Yep. Way better. You struggling down there, George? Yeah, it's just a bunch of gunk in the snap ring. Oh. I don't have uh, little rocks and stuff on this one. Yeah, I'm sure it's got a bunch of shit in it. Mine. Alright, ready? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. Alright. Right to you. Yeah, that's cam came right out. We didn't need the puller. I think that's because I greased the fuck out of these things. I was shocked. I thought we were gonna need it, but we didn't. So there's this one. All right, guys. George will beat the races out. Oh, you are? Yeah, she's, she's got, you got a pair of pliers with a teeth on it. I got pliers. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yep. Legendary orange vice grips. Yeah, the grip on ones, man. They sent all those to me. So, they work pretty good. A lot of people say the snap on ones suck, but yeah. they're not using them right. So this is the old slack adjuster, and you can see that the inner seal might have been leaking. Might have been leaking. <laughs> might have been leaking, George. I think it was. Yeah. What do you know? There's fucking shit everywhere. All right, here comes your bushing. All right, I got the seal out already. All right, here comes your bushing out. Oh, missed it. Come on, keep pushing her. I think we're missing some meat on that bushing. No, this bushing is actually pretty good. Really? Yeah, we're going to be missing it on that inside one. The inside one's going to be the one that's fucked. You can see that that bushing looks pretty good. Cool. Alright. Ready? Yes, sir. Tell me when. Here it is. It's moving. All right, let me, let me put you in a different spot. It moved and it cocked on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. See what that one is. This one ain't as bad as we thought. Yeah, the seals are fucked. Well, George, we might as well work on one at a time since we ain't got this one fucked up. You yeah. Know? yeah, we can build this one back in. Yeah. So, now that we got that, what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this out, and then we're going to get another seal kit and driver. All right, so give me a minute, guys. We'll be back. i got to go get all the parts wrangled up from the other side of the shop. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, I forgot to turn the camera on, but we're beating the seals in. The guides? Well, whatever you call this. I'm on the seal out here, George. <laughs> All right? It's a lot. I'm on to the seal, bud. I 
Ah, you motherfucker. Yeah, I know I should buy a seal driver. Thank you. Whoever's going to write that in the fucking comments. <laughs> I fucking got it. You know, Snap-on makes... Snap-on makes a really great seal driver. Yeah, $900, you know. If you guys would like to send in 900 bucks, I'll take it. No, let's not get fucking wild here and start, you know, writing in the comments. You got your seal in? Yes, sir. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. New slack adjuster. And then here's all your shims. Gotcha. And that, once he gets this back on, I'll throw the hub back on, and uh, then we'll get ready for the brakes. But I'll show you this part, just to kind of show you kind of how you line up your, you know, how you guesstimate this fucking thing here. Now, George, yes, what, sir. in your opinion, uh, you know, wears out these S-cams? Uh Actually, a, a couple of things will, as you pointed out, when you have a paver pushing on the back of your truck, ain't good on it. Yeah. But uh, basically, lack of grease from the S-cam guide pipe right here. Yeah. In the tubing. Like, like you were pointing out, you, had a, you heard a guy that just greased his truck once a year. Yeah. Not smart at all. Uh, these, <coughs> if you think about it, these S-cams are constantly twisting every time you touch that brake. Yeah. These things are going to move, 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 move. The, uh, it's going to exhort or exhort, I can't even say that word, 1,500 pounds of force onto the S cam with over 1,000 pounds of push up pressure. So now you got to think about it. We got a bushing in here with a seal out here. That bushing in really ain't nothing special. If it doesn't have lubrication, yeah, where's yeah, it going? Yeah, I mean, it's going it's to move. It's going to go bye bye. Another thing that gets the S itself is just road debris will get in here and it will bind on the roller. As we'll, you'll see here in a little while when we put the rollers back in. They'll bind and the roller has to jump it. When the roller jumps it, it starts grinding it into the S. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. So it's just basically wear and tear. Yes. You know, like there's, you can fuck anything up. You know, with the 200 pound gorilla in the seat, yep. that's really another issue too. <laughs> but that's a whole nother different story, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, so George said he likes to have about 30 thousandths. I put them on so there was kind of no play, but, you know, what is it? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, when we, when we spec in with new, all new stuff, we'll roll back in on on uh, 30 thousandths, no more 30 thousandths on this, play this way on this S. Yeah. And then up and down on our S, up and down and side to side, this way and this way, no greater than 30 thousandths. And when we, when we run those out, we'll put a magnetic gauge up here run put the pointer down and we'll give her a good wig wig wiggle but like you said you this truck's here to make money it's not a show truck uh, yeah this is not nothing technical here you know yep so she 30,000 she's still gonna stop just fine yeah cuz see I made it to where that you know there was no play in that uh, you already got the pan out there George yeah, what's it? Yeah, I said I already gave you the small ones in there. Yeah, yeah. I, think I, I don't know if I picked them up or not. I picked them yeah, no, yeah. they're right there. Yeah, you got them. Yeah. yeah, now I'm going to tell you that this goes way better with two people than one person. I'm going to say that, you know. It's also the same with sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, you're right. You know, the same with sex. It, it's a lot more funner with somebody else in the room, but you can do it by yourself. It's okay. <laughs> Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Slack adjuster tool. What do you need? Slack adjuster tool. Oh, okay. Uh, bring her down and put her pins in. Pins and cotter pins. All right. So let me get you one pin and the cotter pin. Then we're just going to reuse that small one. Fuck that thing. Okay. I thought I put a big one in there. Is the big pin still in there? Uh... I got the little pin. Yeah, you got the big pin. You got the big Calder pin down here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so what George is doing is just rolling it around. You got to adjust these gun eye things to get the pins to line up. They say you have to turn them. That's about it. But other than that, uh, we'll get ready, and I will throw this front hub back on. And, uh, you know, then we'll get ready and put the brakes on, put the drums on, 
and fucking cinder. And then we may show you some clippets or some funny shit on the back one if we get fucked up. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let me show you how we put this big motherfucker back on there. Again, 200-pound gorilla in on there. Uh, this one fell back on there a lot better. Uh, clean this off a little bit. Okay. Now... Oh man, we almost forgot, fellas. Almost forgot. You're gonna have to. So, as you can see on these axle nuts, they got this divot in there that faces out. Okay, and then how I do this, I'm not saying it's the right way, but it's the way that works on my junk. Okay, and that's the most important thing about this, is it's mine. So, if anybody fucks it up, it's going to be me. How I do this is you put your socket on there. And I run this in until it's tight. Okay, obviously you can see that this rolls a little bit. But... Now we know that our spacing is correct. So then what I do is I just, um, back it all the way off to where you can turn it by hand. And then you just run it in so it's a little bit tight, just like that where it's not very much resistance. All right, then we, Fucking, oh, we're out of brake clean, motherfucker, motherfucker. It's over. Well, as you can see, this goes on next, and it, one of these holes has got to fit in this, in this hole, that little punch out. Now, I will tell you this, if the hole is not lined up perfect when you stick this in the keyway, always go to the looser side, never the tighter side and you'll be all right. So ours doesn't do that. So we'll loosen it up just a little bit. Bam, got that fucking in there. Now we take our lock ring. We'll just clean this up. I don't know if we got any, ah, fuck. Don't you hate when you run out of brake clean? It's kind of like running out of beer on a boat. You know that you're fucked. You know that your day is over. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you don't want to be out on the boat with no beer. <clears throat> you know. Mike's tool shed can tell you about boating. I don't go boating. So then again. Oh, yeah, well. George is a Coast Guard guy on the river. But, you know. He knows everybody's out there is drunk. So again, uh, we'll tighten this up to, again, it's just hand tight. All right. all right, then all you do is take your ply or your screwdriver, bend your clips over, bend your clips over, and that's putting the hub back on. Uh, Georgia put the brakes on while I clean up the uh, hub and get some more fucking brake clean and get this silicone back on and we should be good. As George is going to put the put the brakes on, so what he did is he used the purple shit that I got. You know, uh, we're going to lube up these pins and then, yeah, whatever that shit is. Yeah. Permatex, man. The, it's the purple yeah. shit. Synthetic extreme. Yes. It's Caliber grease. You can get it from Amazon, anywhere else. Uh, it's probably not that expensive. But here comes George with the fucking brakes. The shoes. I bought the best shoes you could get. They said they're like heavy duty, ultra long lasting. So we're gonna try these because we put the medium grade ones, or the one grade right underneath this one on the other truck. And then we're gonna try these for comparison. But all right, we'll see how these work. George does this a little bit different, 
So he would say that this is the professional way, right, George? Yeah, I don't know if it's a professional way, but it's just, it's the well the fast way. We get them in, and get them out. Uh, basically, we lay this top pad on here. We do not put in the roller yet, the main roller with the knurlings on it. So it's empty. We have a lot of room here. Push these in. Make sure they they move nice and good. If they don't, we would change out that bushing. This bushing is still good, nice and lubed, nice and free. Hang our two back springs. Hang yeah. them. Take this guy. We'll pick him up and we'll just uh, kind of just hold him up against there like this. Kind of wiggle him, get him in. Then we'll just tuck him, tuck our little springs on here. Like that. And I'll catch the other one. Hang my fingers in there. All right. Installed. That's the brakes installed. Now you, you see that this way is he. This he's right. This is the fastest way. Uh, he's got to get a special little tool here. Okay, George, why don't you show us this wazoo fucking goddamn thing here? Yeah, this a this is a fun one. A lot of a lot of uh, diesel techs will come in on the S cam with a, a spoon looking pry bar. They'll grab they'll hook this. And they'll grab the bottom of this, pick him up, push him forward, put him on. Works really good. Sometimes, sometimes it don't. But sometimes none of none of it works good. So I'm gonna grab the bottom. Let the gravity push him down. Now you can buy these off the internet. I'm not sure what the name of it is. It's a weird little guy. We'll call it the brake stick. We'll call it the brake stick. Yeah, brake stick. So I'm gonna come in on lay on top of this axle tube. I'm gonna catch this spring and turn him. So now I've got the spring. So I've got the opening that way. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to try to catch that pivot pin up there, little bridge pin, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to roll forward. You get a little room here. I'm going to pry down and push. So what I expect to do is just catch the pin like that. Look at that. Fucking easy. You know, I would have been out here. I mean, that would have been ten motherfucks if the junkie did it. There would have been ten fucks in that one, which you guys probably would rather see the ten fucks. But that's a lot easier way. And then uh, we'll get out of the way here and show you how George puts the uh, rollers in. All right, George, you got room to get in there? Yeah, I'll wait for Grab a pry bar. That's a snap on. Guy has, he has every freaking pry bar into the why do you think? Why do you think they call me the junkie? Because I it's got It's obvious. It. Yeah, you know, I am, you know, I didn't come up with that name just because. No, George, see, I don't call that a problem. Some people say junkie's a problem. The word, <laughs> that's not a problem if when you're working on stuff. The old mechanic told me one time, when I asked him why he spent so much money on tools, he said, if the tools make it easier for me, it makes my job easier. Now, basically what I did was I pried down on that shoe. I held the little spring handle. I know a lot of you older guys say, throw them things away. But it saves your fingers. So I held on to it, pried the shoe down, put it in there, let the shoe go, so I put it in, then I just tuck the spring back in the clips. I'm gonna do the top, same thing to the top. I'm just gonna grab it here. I'm gonna pick up on it, hold it by the little spring handle. Alright. My fingers never were in jeopardy. Except for the can of brake cleaner over there. Yeah, the brake cleaner, don't worry about that. That's that's junk. Okay? So that's done. That's brake stalls. We're done. All right. So I'll get the axle cleaned up and I'll show you running that in and put the drums on it and get the tires back on it. But other than that, this brake job is completely done. And we did this in, let's say, 30 minutes compared to the hour and a half by myself. So two people is the shit. So we'll be back here in a second, guys. All right, guys. George is back there getting crazy on a fucking pin. And, uh, I'm going to put this axle back fucking in here. Ah, oh, come on, you motherfucker. There we go. Look at that. You just got to get your, you got to get your tongue in the right spot there. That's what it, that's all it took. All right. As you can see, we got this. I'm putting all this monkey fucking shit back on here. I definitely like these washer, these 
these axles without the cone washers, uh, it's definitely worth, you know, that's a, see, uh, the difference between car engineers and truck engineers is the truck guys will fix the problems. It may take them 10 years, but they will fix it. I'm going to make some noise. All right, I'm going to make noise too. So run that in. Here old painless going. So we got this put on. Uh, you can see this is how you fucking redo an axle here. Um, it's definitely going to be easier than. Uh, fucking doing the rest of the bullshit but there's that so I gotta go get George some fucking stuff to do some cutting and then all I gotta do is put the drum on and adjust the brakes you know we're gonna be back here we're gonna put the drum on and get another fucking hernia so we get that drum on there Okay, we got that. Now all we gotta do is roll the tires on there. As usual, we just manhandle these motherfuckers back up on there. But you guys know how this shit works. But anyway, uh, we got one more axle left, and it's not going to be too big of a deal. We just got some stuff to fix on the outside. But I think the George, is the S cam and all the stuff in? Yes, sir. Shit. I can do one better. All I got to do is tighten this down, and we are going to be fucking done with this one. Yeah! Fucking... Professional with an air gun. Any NASCAR teams out there, if you want to go from 11 seconds to a 9 second pit stop, call the junkie. <laughs> We're done with this one. And a guy said that I didn't do it last time, so I got to do it time. time. Motherfucker. If anybody else out there that does heavy truck brakes and they want to challenge the junkie, bring it the fuck on. You know, I have the power of editing, so don't worry about it. I'm always going to beat your ass. <laughs> okay, so now that you see uh, today's video about doing brakes again on a big truck, I hope you learned some stuff. Uh, I learned some things uh, how to make it easier by doing brakes uh, all the time. You know, uh, I'd also like to thank George uh, for coming down. He is a fellow YouTube watcher. And he contacted me and said he would like to help me the next time I did it. So, uh, yeah, I jumped on some help. Uh, he actually taught me a lot of stuff. He's uh, pretty good. You know, I, I really appreciate it. So, George, thank you uh, for coming and helping the junkie. And he got to meet me and have a good time. And 
see what it's like to work with the fucking legend, the Snap-on Junkie. But anyway, he brought me something. So uh, he gave me a gift too, you know, which the fuck, this is a great Labor Day, to be honest with you. Um, it's called this Lyle uh, Trank or, or Truck Anchor Pin Bushing Driver. So you can put this on old painless here. Let's fucking take a look at it and I'll show you kind of how it works. Uh, but he brought this to me. Uh, so that's fucking cool, ain't it? You know, like getting gifts, a viewer. So how this works, I guess, is you screw this fucker in there. And then you can put this on your, you know, air hammer and knock the knock the pins or the uh, bushings out of it. So how awesome is that? So thank you again, George, for that. Uh, well, I think that's all that I got uh, for today. I don't have anything else. I uh, hope you guys watched the uh, drag racing video that I did. Um, I slid some funny stuff in there too. So uh, to try to keep it entertaining, I know it was really long, but if you watch the whole thing, you will learn some stuff about what it takes to work on a top fuel car and stuff like that on the day and day grind. Uh, what else? Like always, uh, visit my Patreon account. Uh, we are a couple guys away. I think we're going to do it in September and we have about 150 bucks to spend. Uh, to review our first tool on there and give it away to one of the Patreons. So that's going to be awesome. And also you get 24 hour uh, access to all the videos before they're released on YouTube. So you can check them out if you want or, you know, anything like that. And then, you know, if you watch them on YouTube too, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, trying to get that ad money up. Uh, but that's all on that. You know, go to the Snap on Junkie on Facebook, Instagram, all my social media bullshit, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got fuck I think that's about it well you know like always guys thanks for watching and I gotta fucking go